Throughout the years, October 31st had been seen as a night of dark celebration, when the spirits of the dead returned to wreak havoc on the living. It was a night for mischief, wicked pranks, black cats, and witches. However, as superstition faded, the night became one of fun, of dressing up, bobbing for apples, and begging for candy. The sinister side slowly faded away until something happened. This was 1978, the night that he came home. That night, he tore a bloody rampage through the world of cinema, and suddenly, trick-or-treating was lethal again. His name was Michael Myers, and the night was Halloween. In the late 60s and early 70s, American low-budget horror cinema began to move away from fairy tales and gothic monsters and into the modern world. Films like Night of the Living Dead, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and The Last House on the Left pioneered this movement by bringing brutal threats into realistic environments. The 1974 film Black Christmas also combined these elements with a night of celebration. With films like this enjoying success, it was clear that by the mid-70s, audiences were ready to face lethal maniacs and psychotic killers on the silver screen. It was against this backdrop that the idea for Halloween was born. We had a company called Compass International Pictures, and we were distributors of low-budget pictures. The problem was that we couldn't find any low-budget pictures to distribute. It became apparent that the only way we could make any money is if we started to make some pictures. I was doing a movie, Line of the Desert, big epic we spending three hundred thousand dollars a day they came they said the whole movie is three hundred thousand dollars he said the babysitter to be killed by the boogeyman not the boogeyman that attracted me the babysitter because every kid in america knows what the babysitter they can relate to a babysitter and i called john from my bedside i'll never forget it and i told him the story i said john i want to make me about a babysitter and I want to make it in one night, I want to call it Halloween. He got it right away. He suggested we put it on Halloween night, but play the whole thing on Halloween night, and call the movie Halloween, because he felt it was a, a holiday that everybody could identify with, and it hadn't really been done. And since I needed a job, and I wanted to do that kind of thing, I said, sure, I'll do it. And as long as I can have complete creative control, and I get my name above the title, then we'll do it. A lot of the films